No shoey. No shoey. What? The video of Spencer Fisher is called Spencer Fisher, The Cost of Being the King? MMA fighting on YouTube? Yeah. I heard that. I heard that. Cost of being the king. There's a video somewhere in here, though. Two of the gym's most decorated fighters, founder Pat Miletic and Jens Pover, competed to see who could drop Spencer first on his first day at the gym. Both lost. See, I, I already told him that's a no lie. Not at all. Whenever he joined us in sparring, and everybody's heard about the the old school Miletic sparring sessions, how serious they were, and he joined in. My goal, I try to drop everybody with liver shots. I tried to drop anyone and everyone. If you didn't want to, if you didn't want me to drop you to the liver, don't spar me. That's all I looked at. There's a video in this damn thing somewhere, is there not? Oh, here we go. Is that this video? Do you think all out sparring was bad? Nah. It is what it is. I don't think it I don't think it has to do with just sparring. I think it has to do with lifestyle, hydration, diets. I think it has to do with a lot of things. You know what I mean? Okay, so before we get this started, now, hold on, chat, this is, all right, so we're going to have a serious moment real quick, like, if I may, and I try to stay out of this shit as much as possible. There's a reason why I do what I do here. One of the re okay, there's a reason why I pause a lot, and I'm going to try to keep these tears out. This is why, because I'm going to start crying. There's no way I'm going to be able to say this without crying. But I'm going to do this because you posted it, and I'm going to do it because I love him. There's a reason why I pause and there's a reason why, the reason behind pause, champ. And see, I can't say because I'll start crying. I, yeah, see. It, it. There's a reason why I do this and why I talk and why I pause all the time. is because I want to prove to everybody that I'm not punchy and that I'm not slow. And that because I get accused of it all the time. And people always say to me, oh, are you punchy? Are you just slow? Do you have brain injuries, are you f***ed up, or whatever it is. And I'm like, no, I seem to think I'm fine. And that's one of the reasons why, when I say that this saved my life, this was why. Because I see my friends, they're having struggles. One got hit by a train, so that's obviously different. But I ain't got a lot of people, you know what I mean? But I have a lot to prove to myself because I have to hear that shit all the time. And that's why I was kind of afraid of showing this because of that. But I think I'm fine. But I'm always worried about it. And Snoopine knows it. He's probably like, ah, f he just showed it. That's why. So now you know. But listen, that's why you understand why the pause champ means so much to me. Because if I can keep my wits about me and I can have conversations and I can carry on. Nobody ever thought about that. Nobody ever looks at it that way. But that's why that pause champ means so much to me. That's why it means so much to me to sit back and talk. Because you have no idea how many times... People have literally said, oh, my God, do you hear him? He sounds f***ed up. He sounds like he's he's got the, you know, he's got brain damage. Oh, he sounds, you know what I mean? And it's tough, like I said, because I got to see my friends. But that's why. So, but I'm just telling you all, Scotty Goat, gifted, and thank you very much for gifting ourselves. Thank you. But I'm just telling you all so you understand now, that's how much the pause champ means to me. And that's why I pause. And uh, maybe one day it'll happen. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one day my brain decides I've took too many punches and I'm not going to remember. I don't know. You know what I mean? But as long as I can carry on a conversation with all of you, that's what I mean by this stream has literally given me my sanity. Dizzy spells, um, calling people different names, not knowing their actual name. Uh, my kids, uh, I've had instances in the past that I couldn't think of their name on the spot. and. Uh, just my balance is shot. Um, I have a hard time remembering what I did yesterday, you know, and last week's a complete blur. You know, you. My long-term memory uh, is okay, but my short-term memory is, is gone. So, you know, I, I got a supportive family that uh, Orange understands Panther my drink condition CY. and um, tries to help me out the best they can. I don't want to die alone and not know anybody when I see them. I don't want to uh, go out of this world not knowing people that I love, you know, or, or not knowing new people. You know, I have daughters that are going to be married one day and have a family of their own, and I want to be um, 
mentally around so that I can talk to them. Do you think your injuries are the result of your career fighting in the UFC? Of course, of course. Uh, I never had any symptoms uh, before, and I've had testing done before, and they never found anything. You know, Look, man, if I didn't love and appreciate y'all, I wouldn't be sitting here doing this right now. That's what I told you. And this is something that I'm glad we're watching this. You know, I feel for my friend. But like I said, this is more, this isn't just me sitting here trying to play video games and turn it into a job and, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. And everybody just watched me play games. I cussing and carried on. This is like, you all are allowing me to to do the part of my life that, you know what I mean, I didn't know if I would ever have. And I get to sit there and share stories and I get to talk and I get to break fights down and I get to be a mentor and I get to try to help and put smiles on people's faces. and To just know that I still physically can and some of us can't. And I remember all these names and I remember all the people in this chat, you know what I mean? But I'm always testing myself. Because when you're young, you're, you're thinking of the right now and uh, living in the moment and the money at the time and and uh, even though it wasn't great you know i got a lot of bonuses and got sponsors Yo, little 40, time and uh little, i was living happy they you were know, happily. and uh then one day it always comes to an end regardless of what sport you're in but the uh, injuries i took for from it uh just i don't know i don't know if it was worth it you know and now my message is to tell people that hey this is a possibility this could happen to you and it's very real it's changed my life. Is there a way to prevent this while well, fighting? Do I don't know, you know what I mean? But at the same token, you know, I always knew, and that's the one thing when it comes to just fighting in general, you're just, and I always tell people, you're just one punch away from never, never waking up. You can be hurt really bad. And that's one of those things that, you know, it, it's, it's tough, you know, it's tough to see it. Um, but it's also, you know, this is the price that you pay. You know what I mean? This is the price that I pay, but I don't have any regrets. And it's kind of like the alcoholic. You're not allowed. I look at it like this. Maybe I'm wrong. You can't be a, a chain smoker and then one day cry when you get lung cancer. You can't be a full-on alcoholic and everybody's warning you and telling you and telling you and telling you. And then one day you cry because you got cirrhosis of the liver like my father and you die. There's a reason why I quit chewing. I quit chewing because I made a promise to my wife. The day I stopped fighting, I would quit chewing. I went cold turkey, flipped that can in the air and never touched it again and quit five years ago. And I stopped on the spot. There's also that fine little bit of youth, right? And that's the thing about youth. There's that thing about youth. But the thing about youth is this. You don't think about when you're older. Like I remember being 22, 23 years old. They're going, hey man, one day you're going to be 40. You better think about your retirement. You better think about this. I'm like, are you serious? You know how far away that is? I'm 23 years old. You think I give a fuck about 40? You're out your mind. I remember saying it right to their face. Just the idea of thinking about 40 would just be, what? You know what I mean? I'm not even trying to hear you. I don't even want to hear it, right? You see what I'm saying? But no matter what you do, you can get in a car. Look at what, look what happened to Matt. Everything was fine. And he got hit by a train. There are no guarantees in life, ladies and gentlemen. There are no promises. There are no guarantees. And that's why, and this is something, and I will hold this till the literally till the day I go into the grave. I rode this thing till the wheels fell off, and I did everything and achieved everything I wanted to go out there and do. So what I would tell you, my message to all of you will always be, one, learn how to be your own best friend first. Two, go out there and fill your book. Go out there and do things in life so when you're left at the end of the day, all you're left with are stories but have a big-ass book of them. Get out there. That's why you see me sitting here bullshitting, hanging out with everybody, laughing, sharing stories, because I went out there and I filled my book, and we've got so many more books to go, and that's why I love being in here with all of you because I don't know why it is or what it is, but I know I have a gift of gab. I love talking. I love talking with everybody. I love sitting there. You know what I mean? I love sitting here, and I love you all spending your time. That's what I'm telling you. That's why when people say this is it, look, you all give me your time and now you're watching this and now you'll understand a little more about this is this. Now you understand 
giving your time. The single greatest gift any one a person can give is time. We're not promised any of it. And so the fact that you all come in here and hang out with me is it's mind blowing. I'm not taking time out of my day. You all are coming in here and giving me your time. And this is something I want you to understand and register. If any one person ever gets made to feel like their time ain't worth it, whatever is making you feel like your time is not valuable, I don't care what it is, anxiety, depression, obesity, whatever it is, got to go. Because we aren't promised this shit. You know what I mean? We aren't promised any of this. You don't know how many times I've sat with Snoop Eye, A.K. Snoop, and said, did I sound okay? Did I stutter? Did I, was I making sense? How many times have y'all heard me say, does that make sense? Because now you get it. And that's why I was so scared to, re- to, to, to see this story right now. Because that's, but this is why. So anyways, like I said, this is going to hit hard. I don't mind crying in front of all of you because... You know what I mean? This is an important subject, and I just want you all to understand more than anything else in the world. Man, fill your book. Literally, ladies and gentlemen, get out there and fill your book. No matter what you do in life, fill your book, because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, that's the bitch about time. We all, The longer you live, the more goodbyes you're going to have to say, the more of your functioning tools you're going to lose. And all, and hopefully, God willing, all we are left with are our stories. How many people are going to want to hear them? And that's literally what drove me. That's literally what kept me out of prison, out of jail, kept me from putting that shotgun in my mouth and made me go out there to try and to go out there and be something in life. Because I wanted to prove to my father, I wanted to give this to him. Like, you know what I mean? For beating on me. I wanted my family to smile. You know what I mean? Anyways.